Exporting for Fallout 4. You will need 3ds Max 2013, Bethesda NIF Exporter plugin, Elric, and NIF Scope. As a brief disclaimer, this tutorial is provided as is, and I will not be providing technical assistance in the comments. Make your model. When you're done, open your material editor. Apply BS Lighting FX to your model. There's a little green box in the top left. Use this to apply it. Rename your object to whatever you like. I usually use object for reference. Clone your base object. Give your cloned object a prefix with C underscore. Select your whole model. We're going to apply collision properties. So head up to the Havoc content tools at the top. Then go to physics. Then create rigid body with proxies. Make sure your parent object is what you named your object. Mine is named object. Set your mass kg to 60. Select your C object, set the collision shape type to mesh. Select everything. Go to the hammer in the top right, hit more, and bring up the collision group. Then set default material to anything you'd like. Hit apply. In this next bit, it's really important that you do this. When you go to save, you need to edit these settings in your NIF export dialog. Save it somewhere memorable in the NIF format. Open Elric, found in tools directory inside the Fallout 4 directory. Then load your settings. The settings are located in Tools, Elric, Settings, PC Meshes.esf. Find your file, convert it. It'll be in the Elric folder in a folder called Processed. Open NIF scope. You'll be checking for BHK, NP collision object, and BS tri shape. If you have those, your model is ready to go in game. Make sure to assign your textures in NIF scope. We won't be covering that here. Pardon the low frame rate, and as you can see, we have our object in game. Thanks for watching. Check out stuck.com for more.